The Queensland Premier and the Gold Coast Mayor have clashed over the state's border reopening timetable. Fully vaccinated travellers will be allowed to enter from interstate hotspots with no quarantine by December 17, regardless of whether the 80% target has been reached, as projected. Gold Coast Mayor Tom Tate says the Premier's nominated date is too conservative, warning businesses will go broke. I was down at Burley the other weekend and you, you're hard-pressed to find a cafe you could get a seat at. So I don't know what planet uh, Tom Tate's living on. What planet am I on is this. The COVID uh, path of recovery as state by state government to the 17th or 18th of December, it's a long path. We don't want to take a long path. Let's go to our Queensland editor, Peter Gleeson. Gleeson, Tom, not happy? Yeah, and look, if you think of uh, the popularity stakes, political popularity stakes in Queensland, there's only one leader who is actually more popular in this state than Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk, and that is Tom Tate. He got in with 68% of the primary at the last election. He's a very popular man here. He does advocate very strongly for the tourism industry. It's interesting he mentioned that date, Kieran. If we have a look at some of the internal data that uh, has been provided to me in the last hour or so, it shows that... Uh, not December 17 is the date when we expect Queensland to be fully vaccinated at 80%. It's actually November 26, uh, November 22 on the Gold Coast. And what Tom is saying is that um, the government is being too conservative and that it should open on that late November date so that people can have certainty and people can go ahead and book those summer holidays. The other thing too, Kieran, which is interesting about this, is that there is a requirement for a COVID test. Now, a bloke emailed me a couple of hours ago and said, I've just got a $99 uh, return fare on Jetstar from Sydney to Coolangatta, but I've got to pay $125 for the COVID test. His airfare was cheaper than his COVID test. Yeah, right. Interesting uh, challenge for the industry. Now, the whole strategy relies on Queensland improving those vax rates, doesn't it? It does indeed. And, of course, MPs, Cabinet Ministers are dispersed around the state of Queensland today. There's a blitz rig going on, a marketing blitz rig in uh, the regions in particular. And when you think about a place like Charters Towers, Kieran, which is only about 60 or 70 k's from Townsville, so it's not, you know, way out in Whoop Whoop, 35% have been double vaxxed. That's one third of the population, which is extraordinary. So a big task fronting the Queensland government, but they know how important getting those vax rates up because that's the path to freedom. That's the way they've outlined it anyway. Gleeson, thank you.